we live now? It says we're live. There it is. Oh, and it's a attacked. Ooh. All right. Social media right or something. Sharing the video. Share it. I'm sharing, I'm sharing. I just gotta figure out can I show oh, copy link. Ooh. Social media and guys, very important. Well we're letting you all kinda tune in and join us for another exciting episode. Hey guys, thanks for uh, checking out another Hogback Facebook Live. It's uh, me, John, running Hogback Mountain Paintball, and joined here today by co-host Ben. This guy. This, this guy. <laughs> Who was there Sunday. Was it? Yeah, yeah. And Saturday. Saturday, 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 too. Technically but you didn't Saturday. play Saturday, you played Sunday. Exactly. People got to shoot at me on Sunday. Yeah, yeah. That's true. It's, it's, uh, and then... Um, we're just gonna go over real quick, like a uh, recap of last weekend and uh, some winter weather updates for this weekend. I got a couple calls and emails asking where we open this weekend. We are going to be open, of course, as everybody knows. Hogback plays rain, snow, doesn't really matter as long as the road is safe to get down there. You're good, and by Saturday the road should be all plowed and good, and um, we should be fine. So Saturday and Sunday will be open. Should be a great weekend with it being 40s for us a week. I would even imagine a lot of the snow probably melted. Um, be enough on the be a little, yeah. little soupy, yeah, little, little, little soupy. a little muddy, but uh, <laughs> you know, no big deal there. It'll be all good. Looking forward to it. And then, uh, so we will be open this weekend. And then next week, um, people are asking about spring break hours because a lot of kids are out from spring break. Jealous. We'll be uh, yeah, we'll be open on Friday for spring break from ten to five. Uh, for walk-ons, and also on Thursday, for those of you who play air ball, we're thinking about trying to set up the field. I'll post details on Facebook and Instagram if we decide to do that. We'd be looking for any extra help and hands, volunteers to help do that, because pulling the air ball out at the beginning of the season is kind of like a pain in the butt. I mean... I mean, it's got to be done. Yeah, someone's got to do it. And um, actually, this year for air ball, I'm thinking about doing like twice a month, maybe doing... I haven't decided for sure yet, but doing like... Um, some evening airball days and like posting them. So like it'd be like from five to dark, and I'd go up there for one rep and just run airball games uh, twice a month from five until dark. You can bring your own paint, you can use our paint, whatever. As long as it's a higher end paint that cleans off the bunkers easily. Right. I was about to say so like this. no Infinity, no Dix uh, Triumph paint. Uh, those two just don't come off the bunkers well. So you you have to buy some high end paint, and I'll have a mid grade paint at the paintball field that would work too. So you wouldn't have to buy graffiti necessarily. But it would be a little bit more expensive than Infinity. So that's all in the works. I'll definitely post that up on Facebook, all Instagram, and I'll post it on the front, uh, front page, too, okay. of the website. So that way people who don't do social media will still have an idea of what's going on. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Probably do some early signs for that. But I think, like, Airball this year will definitely be doing a lot more games. And I think in the evenings, too. Like it'll be Saturday evenings. It'll I be think. cooler, hopefully. Well, it'll be cooler. Also, it'll be a little easier. The park won't be as crowded. Um, I can actually be up there to help run games rather than running around all the different groups that are there that day. So that'll be good. And then um, we got Hog B coming up March 31st, which is not this Saturday, but next Saturday. Um, Hog B is basically based off of PUBG. It's a survival game. It's just a normal walk-on game, guys. You come out, play walk-ons that day, and then at 5 o'clock we're going to do a sign-up for, um, for the PUBG or Hog B game. <laughs> and um, you get like an ID badge and number, and we're going to try to keep stats for it the best we can. The first day is going to be solos. It'll be like basically the whole mountain together. We'll close certain fields as the circle closes in. Last person alive will get a chicken dinner. We already did two other Facebook Live videos on that explaining like how that's going to work. So if you want to watch those, uh, go to our YouTube channel, go back and watch those two videos, and that explains all details rather than us going over it again today. That's right. It was two videos because it. Broke it was because it's, it's not just that long. It just broke down in the middle. Yep, and we had I some technical difficulties. <laughs> yeah, it actually worked out well though. It being split in two, and then um, oh, we got some people joining. Hey, Stephen, how you doing? We got Robert. Say, we got Tim in here. I could see the comments there, but they're not here. So I, my phone's broke. Oh really? Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. That's so, weird. Well, I'm gonna bank on you then. I, I can see comments. No one's commented yet. I don't even know if they can hear us. So. I'm sure they can. They just I don't know. Rob, can you hear us? We'll find out. Because I, mean, I definitely see like comments up here. Maybe it's your phone as well. Uh, maybe I'm not seeing comments either. Oh, no. That's just people joining. Never mind. All right, cool. I'm just crazy. All right. 
So yeah, um, the winter weather we will be open. Um, yep. Regardless. The recap last weekend we had some pretty awesome games. Um, we did a lot of scenario stuff. We did yep. the Leprechaun games on uh, that was Sunday morning <laughs> when you played. We did the Leprechaun games. Yep. We did the Saving Carla games again, like just like we did the week before. We did VIP games. We did uh, uh, like the Defusal games, like Counter Strike Go type mm-hmm. style games. Right. Yeah. Um, we also introduced the Bazooka game. Like we have the the well, I guess grenade launcher into some games. Uh, yeah. However you want to incorporate it. Yeah. We uh, called it a grenade launcher. Grenade launcher, I think, is better. Shoots the tennis balls, and if it hits 20, uh, 30 feet from anywhere it lands, uh, players are dead. That worked out well. I thought it was really cool for um, for landing zone. I was about to say, it made it landing it zone more bearable. For made me. it made it a lot easier for the attacking team. I think yeah. that, and you only get two rounds with that thing. It's not. Oh, like, they only gave the uh, the attacking team one. Only gave them one, yeah. and they still won. And they creamed us. I was the last yeah. guy standing. <laughs> Dang, one shot with that thing is kind of rough because like you don't know how it's going to shoot if you never shot it before. Right, but they cleared out. I think. All right. Two, two or three people with the one shot. Nice. And when I was the last man standing, I had like four or five people rushing up the yeah, hill. Yeah, so yeah. I was like, well, all right. Well, from now on, I'll make sure they have two shots with the grenade launcher. <laughs> well, they, they gave it, if it rolled back down the hill to them, they could refire it. Ah, uh, okay. That's kind of fair. That's cool. So there, there were some caveats to it. Yeah. They still, could reuse the one grenade if they if got it. If it rolled again. back to them. Yeah. Or if they moved their way up to it, I guess. Uh, or no, I, I don't think that's how they had it set up. I think if it stayed there, mm-hmm. that was it. But if it rolled down the hill and they caught it, cool. Nah, cool, yeah. So a lot of different scenarios going on in walk-ons. We're gonna keep doing that. It's a lot of fun. Changes the pace of games up. Um, it's like I see a lot of paintball where it's just elimination games that gets really stale and old quick. So, um, you know, it's entertain. I know if it's entertaining to watch and ref. It's mm-hmm. got to be entertaining to play, you know. I would hope it, it definitely is. I mean, it's <laughs> awesome. I had so much fun this last weekend, and this weekend's going to be a blast too. Um, we're going to do the same same kind of games. Um, and actually, one of our refs, um, well, uh, Koi, everybody knows Koi from front counter, uh, front. He's basically like the front manager there. Um, he actually refs weekday groups a lot of times. Mm-hmm. And he introduced me to a game like I somehow we're doing different games. He's like, oh yeah, I run VIP games with. Uh, with the briefcases is, is like and basically he did is on castle for example mm-hmm. they have a vip he has a briefcase and he has to take the briefcase up to the center tower of castle and like put it there and open it up and that's how the team wins but if the vip dies then they lose hmm. and i was like that's actually really cool like i never even thought about that instead he's, of getting he's been doing that side. all along the whole time i was like <laughs> oh all right well that's cool so i mean like he's been doing that for i don't know how long but since we've had the briefcases out there, so for a couple months. Yeah. But that's a cool game. He said he's already seen the Flying V done like twice or three times, and it's worked every time. So I was like, that's kind of funny. To perfect, protect the VIP <laughs> to get to the center. <laughs> yeah. So that's kind of a cool idea. So we'll definitely run in some games like that, too. I like that idea. Um, hey, James, up. See Caesar joined, too. And Steven says our audio is good. That's awesome. Yeah. So uh, make sure you guys, if you guys can hear us or anything, just hit hit that thumbs up button and uh, let us know. Um, but yeah, so that's that's basically a recap of last weekend. I mean, I thought the games went well. The weather on Sunday turned out super oh, nice so in the nice. afternoon. It was great. Even in the morning, it was nice. It was a little brisk, like yeah. right at ten o'clock, but otherwise it was great. Yeah, it, it was nice. A little chilly for spring still, but it was good. And then um, this weekend, actually, we had food trucks both days. Um, we have on Saturday Jambalaya Bros is going to join us, and then on Sunday uh, Bueno Dillas, if I said that right, I tagged it in the video so you guys can check that out. Uh, they will both be there Saturday Jambalaya Bros. Sunday will be the quesadillas and stuff. So um, make sure you come out if you're going to come out. Come out all day, join us for lunch, then go back up and play more paintball. What's up, James? And um, yeah. Um, I just read your comment. Yep. And I was like, what? Bring some questions. <laughs> I didn't realize you're typing. Yeah, I was, sitting, right. I was trying to do it quickly and found one work. No, I got you. Um, so then we also have uh, Black Hawk Down coming up actually pretty quick. April 15th. Ooh, that screen. That's going to be fun to look at. Yeah, I don't know that's how it's even going to show up on there, but oh, we'll on. see. Wait yeah. on the delay. It'll work. So. Um, oh, it's just a white. Rectangle. That's a ticket, guys. I promise. If you are watching this, the Black Hawk Down Early Bird Special ended, so there's no more fifteen dollars with uh, tickets with T-shirts. 
I should have brought but a t-shirt. if they are watching this and they see it and they call us tomorrow or Friday before 7 p.m., you can still buy a ticket for $15 and get your free t-shirt if you mention the Facebook Live, but you have to call and do it, and it has to be before 7 p.m. on Friday. So if you're watching you want a ticket, call us before 7 p.m. Friday and uh, just pay us over the phone for it and we can make that happen. The website now is only set up for the um, still discount by five bucks for uh, entry and also for the uh, rentals and stuff. So, But there's no t-shirt. TCO should be present for this event. Um, that's Team Capital Offense. So ah, they good. always come out. You always, uh, you always at least get James, a.k.a. Cookie there, and about... <laughs> TK are always at the big games. Um, for the other TCO guys, maybe, maybe not. You don't know. Like It's kind of hit and miss. Wasn't well, that Cookie's job? Was like, kind of bring them with? Like... Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so... Chop, chop. Yeah, Cook, Cookie's on him. He, he, tries, he tries to get him out there. I've, I've usually seen good. Cookie's yeah, getting jersey. So I um, they show up. And Billy said, cool, he'll do that. So give us a call, Billy, and uh, we'll t take advantage of that ticket. So it's 7 p.m. before Friday. After that, can't help you. Um, and then I guess that's pretty much the big things are spring break walk-ons. Yep. Possible air ball set up Thursday before spring break walk-ons. Really depends on the engagement. Like, Yeah, yeah, how many people like want to do it and email us or message us on Facebook say, hey, I want to do that. Right. Um, so we have the air ball set up. We have spring break walk-ons. Then we have that full day of walk-ons and groups and stuff, a hog bee game afterwards. Uh, yep. And then Sunday we are closed for Easter, yeah. you know, April um, 1st. So, you know, that's all next week's stuff. This weekend we just have the – we're going to do, like, all the special scenario games and walk-ons like normal in the mm -hmm. snow maybe. If or, it's the not melted, or the slush. Or the slush. So it should be pretty cool. Yeah. And then uh, I think that's all the big events. I mean, then the week after that basically is the one week before Black, Black Hawk, Hawk Down. Which I'm super excited for. Black Hawk Down, I think next um, Wednesday we'll have to bring out, like, I actually have this really cool detonating, like, smoke thing, like little remotes. Hmm. And you hook the remotes to, like, these smoke grenades and you can remote detonate them with, like, a little car key thing. Nice. Maybe next Wednesday I'll bring them on the show and kind of show that off. Without detonating one, obviously. I was about inside. to say, venting? Where? But yeah, yeah. no, just the, the device itself, that'd be kind of cool. Yeah, yeah, it's cool. I'm like afraid to drive around my car. I don't want people thinking I'm like some kind of terrorist or something. It has like all these little antennas and like lights and detonators. <sighs> yeah, no, I'm sure some people look at you sideways <laughs> a little bit. But... Yeah, get out of your car and I get shot and yeah. end up on YouTube. Um, but anyway, <laughs> yeah. So um, that's the, that's a recap of everything, guys. We hope to see everybody out this weekend. Um I don't know. Got anything to add? I think it's a pretty short show Not today. Really? Yeah, I mean, it, it's kind of a short one because who went to work? No one really. No one. I did. I'll tell you what. I'm going to play after this. PUBG. Yeah, see that? <laughs> and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get some, some chicken dinners. Yeah? yeah? Or are you going to get that second place? No, I've already gotten like four of those today. <laughs> I'm so sick of second place. I mean, Second place might as well be last place. You just wasted more time to get there. <laughs> That's it. I hate second place. Ouch. Savage. It's true, though. In PUBG, true. yes. It's very true. much so. Do you get anything for second place? No. You just get some more points. You get that You get that reward of knowing that you lost to that other guy that you should have killed or beat. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. I'll, I'll be content with second place. All right. So <laughs> if you all want to play on the... If you all play PC, PUBG, none of that fake stuff on Xbox. <laughs> Mobile. What? <laughs> let me know. Oh, gosh. That's horrible. <laughs> I, they do have it for that, though. The, yeah. Right, because Fortnite's like, oh, let's put out a mobile, and PUBG's like, oh, no, we're behind. Let's go. Yeah, it's an unfortunate chain of events. There we go. PUBG, Paint God 33, hit me up. Yeah, so PC. you can play with John. Oh, yeah, and... I have Discord server. I'll get you guys going. I'll carry you to the top, carry you to chicken dinner. All you got to do is just not die. Second place. <laughs> or second place. <laughs> or if you're playing with me, then nowhere near. You can watch me get second place while you're from death cam. I'm kidding. <laughs> it's usually how that goes, though, because I'm like, you do all right, you do all right. Let's go in the building and attack and just, uh, no. No, it's all good. All yeah. right, guys, thanks for joining us. Come out this weekend. Enjoy some Jumble Bros oh. on Saturday. And, uh, Cookie bringing in the last-minute question. Oh, yeah, yeah, there we go. Well, we have that delay. We yeah. should have buffered a little bit. Yeah, I don't know what you're talking about, about fires there, James. Uh, but, um... <clears throat> We are only going to allow, um, only our people, our staff is allowed to laugh smoke grenades. We're not going to allow other people to use smoke grenades. Um, but yeah, only us. We're not going to allow other people. Good question. Um, I can't see his whole question cut off. Uh, he's wondering if... Oh, oh. 
Yeah, we're only going to allow our smoke grenades, um, unfortunately, James, a.k.a. Cookie, because we just don't want to deal with a lot of people. If you if you open that door of letting people bring their own, it just hasn't worked out well for us um, in the past. So we're definitely just not going to let that happen. Yeah. I've had several times with people bringing the firework ones and stuff. And yeah. every year I used to tell people, if you have smoke grenades, come check them out with us first. Make sure you're okay to use them. People still throw their own crap and cause problems so yeah we're not doing that. no uh oh the disappointment but uh oh there's one of those john michael from yep that'll be on sunday guys so make sure you guys are out there jo and enjoy that and uh this weekend's gonna be blast come on out there guys make sure uh for walk-ons it's gonna be a good time so we're gonna run a bunch of different scenario games um i'll actually be up there in the fuller again doing a bunch of them so yep you're there for times. the leprechaun set up and i think carla yeah i got i got carla set up and then i'd go back down the hill but I kind of have to float back and forth a little bit. Unfortunately, just run all unfortunately, <laughs> I can't just sit da up there and just run games all day. It'd be kind of nice. But uh, no, maybe bring some extra socks. Yeah, thought depending on how slushy it is, you know, maybe that's something. If you pay attention to the Facebook or Instagram, maybe we'll be like, hey, it's kind of slushy up there this weekend. Or yeah, yeah, maybe yeah. Bring extra socks and maybe some extra shoes. Yeah, you know, just because that way, if you're gonna play all day, you can switch at lunch. Maybe keep your feet a little warmer. Yeah, a little drier. Yep. Uh, all right, guys. Catch you all later. If you got any other questions, hit us up on here in the comments, and we'll be sure to answer them later on. So hopefully we'll see you guys on PUBG um, on your day. Most of you all on your day off. Right? Yeah. <laughs> Have a good one.